being able to knock out really quick perspective sketches allows you to generate ideas rapidly without getting stuck in a digital environment. And so it's an invaluable skill. So in this video, I'm going to show you the really simple process I use to create sketches like this one. And my process has three really simple steps. The first is set up where I'm just laying the foundations for the sketch, which I then refine in step two and add in some more details in the third step. So if you want to draw along with me, get your sketchbook out and let's get started with the first step. So I'm using this photo as a reference for the sketch and it's a house project designed by one of my favorite architects, Katsuo Shinohara. So I'm just going to start by drawing a rectangle which represents the back wall of this room. I then draw a horizontal line about halfway up the rectangle. So now we need to figure out where these diagonal lines are going to meet. And you can see that they all kind of meet at this one point, which is called the vanishing point. So now that we've set up the basic outline of the drawing, we can move on to step two, which is all about refinement. So next I'm showing the divisions in this nice screen at the back of the room. I add in the door and this upper window, again, using the vanishing point to get that angle of the lines right. Here I'm showing the rug and I add the structural column and I start to add in these kitchen elements over on this side. Then I start to add in some furniture, so I'm, I'm showing the sofa, the table, the chairs. And then finally I start adding in the dining table in front. So I'm focusing on using line weights here to distinguish between these elements in the front of the drawing, which I'm showing with a heavier line weight, and the elements in the back of the drawing with a lighter line weight. So I hope this video was helpful. Let me know if you try this sketching process out and how you get on with it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.